to come inside. This view is actually really nice. I like this. <laughs> this looks great. So, I mean, what you going with me to do? Walk up in here and you have uh, uh, a little Asian lady on hand to fix my nail? I mean, there's a nail shop next door. <laughs> I did see that. Yeah. After I was already standing. They, hey, it'd be right a here. whole bunch of ladies coming out of there. They nails be on fleek or whatever they call it. They be like, psh, 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 when they walk by, they be on their shit, man. They be hooking it up. By the way, we recording. Just let but, you know that. Okay, so we already got the situation about the nails, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, I mean, we just going to work it out. They finna see all this. I know. Now that I realize <laughs> I'm sitting right here, and if I talk with my hands like I normally do, because it helped me uh, transcribe what I'm trying to right. say. Right. That's good. I talk with my hands. I'm hella animated. Yeah. I'm gonna act out the whole thing. I grabbed the box, lifted the lid, <laughs> pulled the contents out. You know, I'll be acting everything out. That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. Motivate. Born in the struggle, I know what it takes. That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. I kill them with unity. Smile at the real, but the ones that was haters will never be granted immunity. Work with the willing, but who I kept slacking and sinking this shit, ain't new to me. I'm living this life, keep my mind in the sky. I'm Achilles, the guy when I motivate. So tell me who motivates. Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jess B. And welcome back to the Jess B Show. Ooh, wee. Y'all see my new shirt I just got? Shout out to uh, Shoe Palace and uh, where was I at? Um, Is that Jet Lee? No, I'm not Jet Li, girl. That's that Bruce Jackie? Lee. Oh, Bruce okay. Lee. A limited mind cannot think freely. Anyways, that's the whole point why I bought the shirt and it matched my hat. How you feeling today? I'm great. I'm not nervous. Though. No, nah. I ain't even finna try to slaughter your name. Give me, give me the first name. I, I can spell it, but tell me how to pronounce it. Safira. Safira. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Yes. Okay. Whew. I'll be slaughtering people's name, y'all, and I'm so sorry when I do. I'm gonna get it together. This is maybe I should start doing all my research. What you think? Uh, it would help. It'll help. Damn. But you're gonna be all right. Okay. I'm, I admit my faults. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show, Safira Allen. That's me. That's you. Man, look, I've seen her all over my social media. How you know it's me? P what? You asked me for my ID when I got here. I didn't need, I seen a. I seen a picture of you on your profile. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, cause it was the eyes, the blue, the blue eyes. It was you just like the braids. No, it wasn't the braids. I didn't see okay. no braids. You, it was a picture. You was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like I can't really. I would have to get super close to the damn camera, but you was just in there like. How was that the picture? You was like looking up like this. I can't see my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you was posing, so I know it's you. Oh, it was from my email. That picture. Was it from the email? No, it was the one you sent. Did, no, nah, hell no. It was on Facebook. Okay. So yeah, I it was on Facebook. Braids. Yeah, but I didn't pay attention to the braids. It was okay. the eyes. Okay. The eyes. <laughs> well, welcome to the Just B Show. I know you've been a fan. That's what you told me behind the scenes. I asked you to be here, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I asked yeah. you for an interview, and you said yeah. Yeah, then love, you had love. time. I love. appreciate that. Yeah, love, love, yeah. love. Welcome. I'm about to give you that work just because I know you're a little bit nervous. Fair I'm enough. Starstruck. <laughs> Aw. I am. That's dope. Don't I'm be. Real, I said really? I was going to be nervous when I got around you because you, you just like dope. Like you bring the energy. Like you make somebody just like you better be here. Like right. I, calm down. You said I'm going to unnerve you. I was like. Because <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, you got to calm down. I just want the, the bond with everybody that I come in contact with, including the ones out there that I haven't. You know, I, I want it to be genuine. Right. Like, that's why I tell you, like, yeah, I, I really don't do all the research and stuff like that. Because I want to, when I meet you, it's dope enough that you want to come on the show. So then when I meet you, it's like, I want to know you for real. Right. Everybody. Right. Everybody that come tap in with me, I want to know you for real. And then I want to give you a, um, some inspiration, a piece of advice, so to speak. Right. And, and that's it. And I want you to continue being great on your journey or whatever it is. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> And, and that's what it is, but it's I'm I'm gratitude that I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm blessed. I feel thank you. That's dope. That tells me that I'm doing my shit. Yes. I'm on yeah. my shit, man. Yeah. Uh, and that's not to be cocky at all. That's just remind myself when I watch this later that boy, you on your shit. Right. And I want y'all to get on y'all shit. Right. You need to keep getting on your shit. 
I am. That's why I'm here today. I, I'm telling you, I had to. What we say, inspired by God. Yeah, inspired yeah. by God. Yeah. We're gonna talk about them in a little bit. Yes, that, yeah. that it got me here. Yeah. Right. So, starstruck fan, <laughs> supporter, sister, Man. or whatever or not, I got you. Give you that sauce. Yes. Welcome to the Just Be Show. We are gonna talk about self love, unity, and progression. Yeah. We are gonna talk about where you coming from, what you doing right now, and where you plan to go. And then, of course. We got to motivate the people because that's very right, important. Right, right. You feel me? Got gotcha. you. Then I'm going to motivate you. Yes, you are. And we're going to keep it pushing. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You can either answer them or we got to have a dope ass show. Please. You can continue to motivate me. Yeah, okay. Because you cool. motivated me when I walked in the door. Matter of fact, when I was standing out the Dope. door, when it was still locked, you mm -hmm. you motivated me. But boop, you was here like, dang, okay. Boom, boom. I'm like, we, we on yeah. our shit together. Dope. Like, Dope. let's do Dope. this. Like, for Dope. real. Like, Time, I appreciate your time. Yeah, you know? for sure. So. Yeah. Series of questions. You can answer them. We can keep it pushing. If yeah. you don't, though. You didn't prepare me. Nervous though, or not. Questions, no, though. that's the gift. That's the key uh, to being on here. You never get the yeah. questions. That's crazy. Yeah. So I just gotta... if, if your publicist or whatever can reach out to me, just be, we need them questions. I'm be like, uh. I might give you some questions. I might ask some different ones, though. Because I'm not trying to get in your business. No drama. I don't want to know none of that. Like, on the only parts I want to know that is how you came out the mud out there. Oh, shit. so that's why it's edited. Y'all can run it back later. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but to keep it real, I don't take too much out, even when I edit it. It's all good. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm raw, uncut, and real. Like, I right, ain't going right. to change. I'm who I am through and right, through, right. you know? Yeah. So, so originally, I thought, uh, the uh, the name of the 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 book, right? right? I thought the name of the book was Walk, Walk by, by Faith. Faith, and she was like, "No, that's my email." Right. Mm hmm. I don't got assistance with shit like you. You know what I'm saying, y'all? No, that you wasn't know? you though, but because your name came in as <laughs> Safira Allen, so it was like, how did it end up a Walk by Faith? <laughs> it's tatted on my arm too, by the way, the Bible verse. So mm. it just got me here. Mm. I know. Right. Yeah. That's super oh, dope. Sorry. So where do you come from? You 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 born out here? No, I was born in Alabama. In my, Alabama? Yeah. Is that that's considered the country? Don't. I was. It I is. Was, it is. Yeah. It, it's country. How, how is country living? Like how country was it for you? Dirt roads and barefoot. Yeah. It was that country. It was that country. Barefoot in the dirt yeah. road. Yeah. Yeah. You got you got screens in your uh in, in your your grandma front porch. Mm -hmm. You got holes in the screen and shit. And she tell you shut my damn screen door. Don't let these flies in my house. And you like grandma? It, it's gonna get to the holes anyway. You don't see that big ass hole right there? Right. <laughs> yeah. That part. That. Love you, grandma. Country. Yeah. Super country. Yeah. Man. So I mean, damn. How how long did you? How long before you left Alabama? I left Alabama for the first time actually when I was about. Seven years old. My mom okay. flew me to Texas. Okay. Uh, was to you stay on, with was a, you on concrete roads then? Or what listen, <laughs> when we got to Texas, we was on we was on an Air Force base there. Okay. And uh, military. It was just, yeah. Gotcha. So that's gotcha. what inspired me. Now looking back to go to the military because okay. I'm a veteran. So. You uh, a veteran? Yeah. Oh, we are gonna get into that too. Uh huh. We are gonna have a very good conversation. Yeah. Damn. I can't give you too much because what about my memoir? If I talk about too much about me. On 1031, when it come out, they're right. going to be like... No, we're going to just touch okay. the... We're just going to get the, the gist of things. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be nervous. I got that. you. Okay. Let me handle this. I'm going to guide you... Yeah, you will. ...through the interview. Okay. Cool? cool. I'm ready. I'm you ready. Sure? I'm here. You want to ask me a question first? Up. So you can shake it off? Shake. All right, go ahead. Let me ask you we're a We're going to do it different this time. Go ahead. What inspired you to start this show? Oh, What was your man. inspiration? See... I thought you said you've been a damn fan. I you just want to make sure is. you tell them All right, the same know. thing that I learned tell on my own by cool. researching you. That, damn, that's my bad. What inspired me to start to start the podcast? Yes. To start the Just Be Show. Oh, man. Uh, for the people that haven't watched me or you're new to my brand and what I'm doing, um, my grandmother got cancer, right? After I was already in her depression... It was fucked up. <laughs> Let me tell you. I ain't sugar go shit. It was fucked up. It really was. Um, and it broke me. It, but then, like, right around the days that she found out that she beat it, she told me, grandson, and I call her Super Granny, right? 
So I'm like, what's up, Super Granny? And she's like, you should be a talk show host. I said, a talk show host? That's what you said? What you mean, a talk show host? Like, Geraldo and uh, like Jerry Springer and then Morris? She said, no, like Geraldo, Montel Williams and them. And I said, damn, that's old, old. She said, yeah, you should, though. I th you'll be good at it because you like to talk a lot. I said, all right. So I look up talk show. The Joe Rogan experience comes on. Shout out to you, King. But I'm coming. <laughs> right. But that comes on, man. And I'm like, yo, this is dope with his long ass shows. They like two and a half, three hours. Right. But the whole conversation, the whole scope of the show is dope. Informational. Motivational. Like, it's, it's a hot thing. And he the number one that's doing it. But what I felt like I could bring to the table was more charisma. Um, I feel like I carry a lot of that. So I was like, hmm, let me start something. And then I had already had the name Just B. Yes. And I was like, you know what? I'm just, I don't even know what to call it. I really had no idea what to call it. So I was like, uh, well, then it's the Just B show. And I just rolled with it. These colors, that pink back there, breast cancer awareness. I'm true to this. That's that right. black, that black and that white. I mean, you can tell you for what it is with that. That black is that darkness for sure. Uh, and that blue, so I mean. So you in black, there can only be darkness? In my black, it was darkness. Okay, got That's it. what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, that's why the whole brand itself is a contrast in colors. Everything in the background is dark. Everything on the foreground is light. That's the transition of progression. You feel what I'm saying? That was kind of deep. Yeah, it was. Because look how thin the white is. Shout out to uh, A&W. Yeah, root beer. Because <laughs> I still was drinking it up in there. Yeah. Yes. So that's what that's what uh, inspired me to do it. Uh, February 13th, I started watching like 60 episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience. That took a long time. And then uh, May 15th, 2020, I, I, I did my first show. But you my did first your research. interview. Yeah, hell yeah, a lot of it. Yes. And I went and bought all the shit. And then I was just like, fuck it. And I just made it happen. And this yes. is where I'm at now, so... That's definitely where my inspiration comes from in real time. Yeah. So, speaking on this book that I thought was called something else, grab that book for me right there. Yay. Yeah. This one. Yeah. I just want you to show it real quick before we talk about it. I love how it looks. And we're going to give a shout out to everyone involved with this project here. You feel me? But before we do that, I want to know how did you even get started? In writing through a coach that followed me on Facebook from my viral video her okay. name is Venus Chandler okay and this was her initial project mm -hmm. and I always promised her that I would do a project with her mm -hmm. no matter what like before I even you know had my mishap where I went back to prison she was there and I remember her she stayed down the whole time I got out and I remember her name and I hopped on her project just because I promised her always that right. that we was gonna do a project together. Right. So that was that was the birth of my journey right. here. Because yeah. now leading up to this and in October, I have a memoir and mm -hmm. it led me to this publishing company who is also one of our co-authors. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my phone. Oh, y'all fired. It. Oh man. <laughs> No, it's good. No, nah, you good. You could have turned so, it on silent if you want. Yeah, you good though. But look, we can't just um just flow past with you a couple. We gotta go a sentence or two back. Okay. You feel me? All right. You said right, right when um I got out of prison. Yes, eight you months ago. Me? Eight months ago. This month. You mind talking about that at all? I don't mind. Cool, cause you know mind. on the Just Be Show, whether it's self love or not, self love. It got to be the defense to something. Right, right. You know, so. Like yours give me a little was insight. depression. Yeah. So yeah. mine was that. depression. So give me a little insight on that. I can't. Mine, mine was. Uh, I have PTSD. Okay. From the military. From the military. Yes. What branch? Army. In the army. Oh, yes. you was out there. How yeah. long was you in the military? Just give me a little. Cookie. Ten years. Ten years. Whoa, shit. Hey, yeah. you brave girl. Yeah, I don't tell a lot of people. I mean, if you know me, you know. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, that part of my life was was kind of hectic for me because mm -hmm. I lost my brother, and I needed a lot of time off work, and mm -hmm. I wasn't in my right, right frame of mind, so I was gotcha. like, I got to let it go. 
I was oh, getting deployed too much, like, you know, back to back. And mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, I need to be stable mm -hmm. and get gotcha. my life together. You know, so I, yeah. I gave it up, like, yeah. personal reasons and, you know. Yeah. yeah. So PTSD, they consider that as a mental health yes. disorder. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough to say. Bipolar, yes. you know. But uh, people don't take it seriously as they should. Right. You know? Why do you think that is? Because so many people claim to have PTSD. And, and you know what? This is my personal opinion about that. Mm. I feel like it's looked at as a bad, something bad to have. Like, mm. you're outcast. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So if you yeah. got PTSD, like, I'm oh, different. you're crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah you're outcast. You know what I'm saying? You got problems. Like, you're just always going to be out there type mm. no matter what, what you do. And when you overcome that and show people that there's things that you can do. Right. Then you want to show, you want to shed that light. Mm -hmm. Because there's somebody else out there that's not willing to claim it. They don't even want to talk to the VA. They don't want to do nothing because right. that's just something bad mm -hmm. as far as soldiers to be stigmatized as having. So right. I told them that I would never be afraid to talk about having PTSD. Mm -hmm. Because there's some people that didn't go to war, didn't see half the things that I've seen and, and still have to deal right. with that. Like shootings, murders. People, you know, a lot of people I talk to from Chicago, like right. all the gang violence and everything. You can get PTSD like that too. And like the black right. communities don't take it serious mm -hmm. enough to address it. You right. Know? Right. And I think that's something that's hindering us as a race. Right. As us trying to. And, and I know you, you, you interview like a whole background of people. Mm -hmm. But this is just my personal experience. Right. Coming from a black woman, you know. Mm -hmm. Being in the military and doing the things that I do is coming from my eyesight. Somebody else's eyesight, if as the white, you know, soldiers are afraid to share that they have PTSD, mm -hmm. may be a little bit different from mine, but I'm just only exposing mine. Right. Well, let me say this, man. Shout out to everybody else out there that, ex that does deal with PTSD and has been in the military, but is able to sit on shows like this or wherever you are or stand on whatever, you know what I mean, and talk about it and be open with it. And be comfortable. Like, this is my first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I've never revealed this to anybody oh. that no, He doesn't even know this. Welcome to the Jeff B Show. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just came out of me. Like, it's something I'm expressing to you that I've never expressed to even my own mother. Yeah. You know what I'm dope. saying? Dope. So dope. this is like a Well, now they know as well, and I want y'all to treat that with care. You know, don't don't use it for, to expose anybody or anything like that. Uh, use it as a guide. Like, yo, uh, can I help you? Or uh, can you help me? Cause you know how it is around here, man. It's all about positivity. Right. So don't be afraid to express that. Now, now you really expressed it. Yeah. So now I you did. took it to the next level. Yeah. You feel so me? It's... Yeah. So be cool with that. It's like yeah. straight up. So PTSD, prison, all of that. You came up out of it, though. Yes. You feel me? I did. You came up out of it. So the very first question we're gonna talk about is self love. You know. Yes. How the hell were you able to focus enough to come out of it? Cause when I was going through my depression. I couldn't shit. Focus. Hell no, it took me hella long to come out of it. <laughs> I think the focus was having it hard. Mm -hmm. Like, this is my second time to prison. Mm -hmm. The first time I did five years and three months. This time, eight, 32 months. You better not go back, I'm gonna whoop you. Oh, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. <laughs> oh. Hey, they better sit a toe tag on me because I ain't going to have courts in the Damn. street. Yeah, just like it. Yeah, yeah. It's an author that said that. We ain't going to be. <laughs> hey, we'll have <laughs> courts. We'll hold court in the street because I'm not going back. Toe tag is not for me, but right. God allowed me to go through those experiences mm. because I have something that he knew that I would be able to bring out. You mm. know what I'm saying? Right, and right. He felt like. And he revealed this to me, you know? Mm -hmm. So as I'm going through the process, I know in the back of my mind that this is right or wrong. Like, being here right. today is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the right time, because I usually turn down a lot of interviews and stuff like that, or I don't want to talk about mm -hmm. stuff because I know me, you know? So I've always said no. Mm -hmm. But this time I said, I want to be the one to initiate it. I want to be right. ready. So when I come on a platform like this, like, this is, this is big for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have to be able to maintain my bearings and say what I need to say here and be professional. Cause I'm jo I, I I joke in a minute. I crack right, jokes. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I get real silly <laughs> and it's like I know people like that side of me. They mm -hmm. love that side of me. Yeah. But when they get the serious side of me, I have more like people. I, I reach a lot more people without reaching them. If you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because they're afraid to say anything versus the people that 
likes the drama side of me. Like, right, they gonna right, say whatever because right. they want me to keep it up, you know, yeah, yeah. keep doing this, all the, you know, this crazy stuff. But the serious side of me is people that don't like to reveal themselves because yeah. of the simple fact they're suffering. Yeah. But watching me is helping them unsuffer. I'm telling That's you. That's what I like. You never know. You never know. You know, for suffer, I want to heal someone and I don't even want them to let me know. Right. But when they get a chance and they do let me know, it, it motivates me to keep going. Like, mm. I'd be like, man, I'm tired of this. Like, going live every day, all these messages. Are, but I keep going for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, 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 uh, for me, first of all, it's addicting. <laughs> oh, yeah. I really, um, oh, man. but I realize I'm only addicted to it because it's really my passion. I genuinely yes. enjoy doing what I do. Right. So for you to, that you genuinely enjoy yes. that. And you don't even know when it's happening. No. Like, you no. don't know when it worked. Yeah. So that's that's beautiful. You know what I mean? But sometimes, like, even when you feel like you know, it's good that you be yourself because you always don't know you. Yeah, fact. So if you get somewhere being fake, then you got to try to remember how you acted when you was here or there. Right. If you just be you, like, man, hey, I, that's me. I'm I'm a little ratchet. Just yeah, you be don't. you. That's it. Just be you. <laughs> I don't even understand. Like, that's another thing. When I seen that, like, that title drew me there. Like, I'm the type of person, like, I like labels. I like things mm -hmm. because, like, I was explaining to my friend, like, it helps you to define a person. Right. And if I love people, I wanted to be knowledgeable on what they're attracted to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I can come up and start a conversation and make them feel comfortable. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how you, another way, a former, like, body language way or, or visual way, you can actually meet people and greet them mm -hmm. to make them feel comfortable talking back to you. Right. Right. Because I talk to a lot of people. Everybody, he'll tell you, like, damn, you don't miss nothing. Yep. And they're going to always have something. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to go. Because when right. it goes, it flows. You know right. what I'm saying? And, you know, so many people, days will be made. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're less stress. Yeah. Then the more you can do. Right. Like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know, ain't no going back. I be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Don't get a good plan. I, I just roll with this, like, a couple morals. <laughs> like, look, uh, I love God. Um... I uh, don't give a fuck how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes. it's positivity okay. yes. or nothing. Yes. Right. Period. Right. And that just works. Yeah. And and I and I make sure I stay true to that. Right. Because uh, it just makes my life easier. I don't care if it makes your life easier. Right. But it's better for you to have just me, the, the raw me. Right. Versus the, the caked up me. Because you, right. you, so, you don't want that. No. <laughs> That's you know what, what I mean? when I see you on here, you just be like, man, you just be like, just going. I'm like, damn, that is something. That I would say, like, mm -hmm. the way you interview people and talk right, to them, right. I'm like, that's so me. Like, that's mm -hmm. something I would have said I would have done that. I was like, I have to meet this person. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I said that after you I said do this shit. Listen, after I set up the interview, like, I I was like, I didn't really do my research. Like, when mm -hmm. I hit that that picture, I seen a picture of you, elevate, it was like, boom, boom, boom. And I skipped down, and I, I never comment on any of your posts, ever, because right. I don't really see your posts. <laughs> I have a lot of people. Right, right, right. On my page, and then like I don't have a lot of time to scroll down my news feed mm -hmm. because I'm busy on my own page, you know, yada yada. You know how it gets in the yeah. social media world when you just yeah. have so many followers and you try to yeah. answer back to shit, everybody. I come in on shit. I ain't gonna. <laughs> I spend a lot of my time on that side of the house, you know. I'm not right, you know, and I enjoy that mm -hmm. because there's some things that make my day, and it's like people appreciate my time, you know. Or right. if I respond back, they're like, "Oh my gosh, you responded like." Yeah, you know, I'm going to get to you if I got time. Absolutely. Mm. Even if it's just a quick like, I don't even have to respond back in words, you know. Right, right. But it makes people feel a certain type of way. Like, like elite, they they know that they're out there, they comment, and they feel a certain type of way mm. that they reached me and I responded. So, right, right. And they're okay with that. Right. That's why they continue to stay around and, you know, share, like, talk about, they keep you relevant. Yeah. And you yeah. need people like that if you want to be able to be on different platforms. You need somebody to back you up. You mm -hmm. can't just yeah. come up and show up and you ain't got no team. I see you over here marketing. I see you. Like, you trying you to know, recruit me? No. You trying to recruit me and shit? Nah. You trying to get me to recruit hey, you? You know I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I, I did check you out. I was like, you know, yeah. I, I honestly, let me tell you this. This may sound like a little cocky or something, but it's really not. No, do your thing. Go ahead. But I said I have to be real, right? They already right. you know I'm going to just come at you like it, it is what fact, it is. You know what I'm saying? So I checked out your videos and I was like looking. I was like. 49 views on this video mm -hmm. uh damn i was like this should a lot of people should be watching this shit like mm -hmm. why is there 49 no we got to make this number go up so when i do the interview and i share it on my page right people are gonna watch that because i'm here and i have so many people and i need your views this is for you like mm -hmm. i need to make sure if i'm showing love i'm showing love right. without really realizing but realizing it because right. it matters to me 
because right. you helped me and yeah. you don't even know me. The stories of seven courageous, seven courageous women suddenly. I just want to, these, this caught my eye right here. Like uh, a portion of the heart is broken. Shattered. Yes. yes. By heartbreak, death, uh, broken, divorce, scandal, cheating, abuse. It's seven of y'all. Yes. Seven of y'all. Yes, me and six other women. Yes. Oh, I'm finna mess her name up. Oh, I am not sorry. Gonna, not Kahala. Uh, Kahala? Yes. I said it right? Yes. Cool. Kahala Adams. Shout out to you, Queen. Um, I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Jan Mitchell. Yes. Shout out Jan. to you. Jan. Tyra Evans. Love. California. Venus Chandler. Lead author. Woo woo. Love. Yes. Got it. Adrian. Adrian. Adrian Green. Yes. Okay. Adrian. It's, a, it's not Adrian or nothing. Well, hey, Adrian. You know, we we just meeting also. So. Okay, Adrian Green. Shout out to you, Queen. Andrea V. Heard. Yes, that is the publisher. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The owner of Inspired by God. Yeah, yeah. Publications. That's love. Um, I can only imagine what it took for y'all to write this. You know what I mean? Um, had to get vulnerable. Yes. What was your story about? How many yeah. chapters is it? How many how many chapters you got in here? It's on page one nineteen, and I like that it's on one nineteen because Psalm one nineteen is my favorite Jesus. song. Just yes. as soon as I open it, painful evidence. That's ooh, let me see. Hey, you tell me about your portion. <laughs> Damn, I can only imagine what that's about. Man, it's deep. Like just how I became suddenly single. How I was still messed up. Mm -hmm. Didn't know myself after my brother's death. I didn't really know who I was. Mm -hmm. And I was just being who people wanted to see me be instead of being who I wanted to be. Right. Tried to make sure I please everybody. You know, this, that, and the third. Just, mm -hmm. And uh, I had to let that go, like, eventually because I was ruining my life. Getting into a relationship that I knew I shouldn't have been in and... Mm -hmm. Being married, like I take that very serious. Being married, right? And I gave that to somebody that it was I shouldn't have. I don't feel like we should have been married. Like he wasn't worthy enough of me, and I didn't see all the red flags. They were mm -hmm. there. They was just a different color, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is it was a all good my favorite. Way to put you know, it. The, the flags they was there. there. You know, they was just a different color. He had ordered these ones yeah. off the lawn. You know what custom. Saying? Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Start getting golden nice flags and shit in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good ass way to put it. I really did that get a golden nice cup. He, he sent me one in the mail. Nice, nice, nice. One was stolen off my car and he replaced mm -hmm. it. But it wasn't just an ordinary flag. It was Golden Knights, and it was sponsored by, it was one of those, you know, the D Casino. Right, Like, it right. was on there, and I wanted that because it was an official flag. Right. Like, they represent the Vegas Golden Knights. Like, right. I I love the Knights, of course, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I right. had, oh, yeah. oh, I played a part it. in getting that logo. Like, I helped with the promotions team, so. Right. And it finally came. Like, I was just proud of it. It was something that I did work in, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And not knowing that there, there would be reward later. Right. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. just did the work, you know, not yeah. seeking nothing in return, but just trying to help, you know, mm -hmm. and it came back and I continue to see it. So, right. yeah, and that's yeah. the reason why I do that support that logo, because obviously I have to pay for my go to nights items and, you know, right. stuff like that. <laughs> so it's had to, you know, I'm just like spending money on this team. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where that came from. But I know before they had a logo, it was a puck. Right. And I was doing behind the scenes, you know, on the computer, sharing this bring hockey to Vegas, you know, stuff like that, helping to get in a, a um, hockey team in Vegas. Right. So I did that with the Italian American Club here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm -hmm. So, so shout out to single. Director Bevel Aqua. I know, right? <laughs> and it, this, this, is, this is how it, 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 I'm just, you making me like trying to figure out why I'm here and, and I'm seeing it and I know and then. Have you, boom, read, so, have you read the whole book? Actually, I just got these in the mail. Oh, you just, so you haven't read the whole and book? And I came. Here, after you read, thing. after you read their stories, yeah, I want to know how you feel. So we're gonna have to do a, a double. We're gonna have to do a second one, a recap. So when I come back, yeah, I'm gonna read it. I'm I want to make it. sure you do. I'm going to read oh, it for I sure. Am, even though I'm, and I want you to read it. And when you come back next time, we're gonna talk about it. Yeah, because I'm gonna leave this copy. It's gonna be for you. 
Cool. You got to so, sign it, though. I will, absolutely. All right, All right for sure. That's what I'm and, talking and about. And you know that this Leo, comes let me, out. Let me get, oh, you still got to sign it. Remember, it doesn't even, it's not oh, even yeah, out yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not even out yet, y'all. That's hella so special. So that's why I couldn't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I got these last night. Right. Oh, that's dope. I'm, I'm the first one that got one? Yeah. Hey. You know, well, uh, you know, no, my almost. sister, my mom, you know, my family. All right, well, Robert, the first stranger. But you're the first, <laughs> right. Outside the family. Exactly. <laughs> so, but I can tell you my story leads in 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 at the ending because mm -hmm. I don't want to give too much of it away because right. okay. it's people Fair I don't want to you know spoil their part and because they enough. supported me and they want to know this story but it yeah. it does end with me divorcing my husband okay and not you know and they was there when I married him I married him on Facebook Live from a chapel and people were there watching it so yeah. they're seeing me marry this guy who I've only been with for like three months four right. months they're like where do you come from. <laughs> But who this guy? Fuck you, bro. just marry you. He married you for your money, dumbass. That's what people wanted to say. Right, right. But I knew that. But at the same time, like he felt he could ma match my energy, but mm -hmm. he fell off. He couldn't. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not gonna take care of you. You know what right. the fuck I look like. Yeah. You know a white guy being for it. me from nothing like that. But if we can't do for each other, why am I here? Like right. you're bringing me down. Like you're making me look bad. Yeah. And Damn. He did. Well, yeah. player, shit happens. So, Hopefully but I'm happier because <laughs> I got my little girl. Like, I wanted hey. another child. I got my two-year-old, and she is, like, the reason why I go so hard. Right. She's the reason why some nights I don't get that much sleep because mm. I'm making sure that little two-year-old has the best path in life whatsoever. Like, right. she's going to know how to read. She, she can do all that now at two, but she's very smart, like, putting right. things together. I want to make sure that... She identifies everything and don't miss a right. month. Like, I'm blessed because of my 21 year old. I couldn't provide that with her because I didn't know. Right. A 21 year old? Yeah. You got a 21 year old? She about to graduate college May 6th. Ooh. Shout out to that Alabama. Oh, yeah, girl. Alabama mm. AM. Mm. Yes. Huntsville, mm. Alabama. Just had to throw mm. that in. Yes, Kia. Mm. That's mine, y'all. Mm. That's mine, y'all. So make mm. sure y'all better find that poodle. After you graduate, come get on the Just B show. Woo, Sigma bring Gamma all Rose. your friends. Woo yes, woo. I said it. <laughs> Sorry, Sigma. That's super dope. So, in the midst of everything that you do, you know, right. uh, being this transformed woman, yes, you know, yes. Uh, <laughs> being being comfortable, you still exposing make me things, involving. I uh, promise uh, you, you bring a that. lot out of me. Yeah, like some of this good. stuff that I would never talk about. Like that's these good. people don't even know this stuff about me, and you that's, got me saying stuff yeah. on your show. So when they see it, they gonna see shit that they like. Damn, I didn't even know that. That's good. So now they don't know you for you. That's how I look at it. But and I don't, he told me I need to reveal more of myself, this side of me. Right. But I said, I don't get that comfortable with people to, right. like, you bring that out. Like, who else could get around me? He could, you can. Like, that's just, and just be no chilling. coincidence. Like, but amongst all of that, how do you take care of self? Because you sound like you got a lot going on, but you got to make sure you good. So what are some things you do? Me, I, I go to the gym, you know. I was in the gym the last two nights. Okay. Last, was it Monday and Tuesday? Then I missed Wednesday because okay. I was getting a tattoo last night. I just got a tattoo on my leg. You know, of what? So. Can, can I know? Ooh, can we know? Yeah, I don't think that no, was too no. deep. Okay. I might let you see. Okay, but okay, okay. That right there. Oh, <laughs> well, everybody's waiting to see that. They was they know that I, but I can't expose that one. Gotcha. That one's is deep. Like it's probably gonna end up being in like a book later. Okay. So okay. that's how deep it is. And I just my wanna watch. Yeah, mine's is already <laughs> there. You know what I'm saying? So people can't say that, oh, that's just not real. No, it was there before. So when I move higher, like it's there. Right. Like I don't gotta be acting like I'm there. I got no right. I, this is walking by faith. Yeah. I feel For you. Real. I feel you. I, I respect that one hundred percent. Now mm -hmm. unity. You know, unity is big for me. I'll be rocking my little mm -hmm. unity shirt. If y'all got some idea solutions, uh, 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 I mean, suggestions, let me know. I need some old shirts. Um, I seen that, though. He was like, yeah. he has shirts, too. Remember we were just looking on the Jesse shirt? Yeah, but unity is unity is huge uh, for me and my brand. So I, I okay. you know, always want to know, how are you going to bring unity? What's your plan to bring unity between your brand and everybody around you? That's a deep question. Yeah, it's like one of those critical thinking questions. It is. Damn, that's a question that just don't pop up. Damn, like that's. I don't know what to tell you, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just don't pop up with an answer like that. Like that. Yeah. How, how do you like, plan to bring unity though? That that you can come up with a question. I mean, an answer. I think. 
I feel like networking with everybody, like if I'm connected to you, mm. then anything that I feel like you do in this area that can assist anybody that I come across, I'm going to make sure that I refer them to you so we can all work together. Like you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Networking at its finest. I feel like that's unity. Like it has to it be is. because you have to trust in unity. It is. You that's that's something trust is something I'm very big on. Like right. you have to be about, you know, you can't just get out there saying stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, putting your name all out there everywhere and then it comes back you're not who you are, you know, right. this and that and the other. Like you really got to be yourself. Yeah. You really got to be you. Facts. That's Facts. it. Ain't, if ain't, they don't like it, fuck them. Bye. Bye. For real, it's like, I, I have to be like that. <laughs> My goodness. I just have to. I mean, that's how. Yeah. And it's not for nobody else. It's really for me. Like, for real. Like, this. that's how you stay strengthened. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Through unity. Like, I can't do everything by myself. Right. And you can't do everything by yourself. Strength in numbers. Even, it says, let the brothers dwell together in unity. 33-1. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a song? Uh, I'm not well, sure. You better stay out the Bible. But I ain't heard business because I be in there. Yes, I do. I be in there reading this shit. Don't act like I don't. That's what I'm talking about. You feel me? I right, be in 33 right. 1. I know exactly what that is. It okay. says, let them brother and them drug dwell together in you to teach. Mm -hmm. And you to teach. Yeah, teat, okay. Teat. Like she don't be reading. <laughs> yes, I do. Sure do. Straight up. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. So let me ask you this progression. I've gotten to know you a lot better. We talked yes. about a lot of things. Yes. Now I need to know where you plan to take this thing. You know, I always say, yo, um, whether we like it or not, there is an ending. Everything in this world has an, it comes to an end at Omega. some point. It comes to an end at some point. Um, I know what my vision is for my ending. Is an Omega an ending? What's Alpha yours? and Omega? Yeah. Alpha is the beginning. Yeah. Well, what's your Omega? My ending? I'm still, I, it's something I guess I got to write. It just happens. Like, What's my ending? I'm, what's am what's I your goals? What's your biggest goal? You know I got to put it all juicy and sweet. Ooh, I can't stand <laughs> I mean. In simplest terms, <laughs> what's, your, what's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is, I don't know, to just become a, a New York Times bestseller. Okay. Bestselling author. Like, Ooh. I want that. Like, I want my name to be up there next to Michelle Obama, next up to Glennon Doyle, up to Matthew McConaughey. What? Like, I need my memoir to be sitting right next to them. Like, what? That is my ultimate goal. Like, what? Seriously. like, And I got to start somewhere because I know once I get there, you know, somebody at CNN might want to holler at me in on an interview. Hey, I'm already, I got that practice right here. What? So that's why I said that's I got to be able about. to look back and be like, this is where I started. I didn't just get here by myself. Right. That's unity because I know right. that I'm going to go to the next level where I'm definitely going to be very successful. Right. So I got to leave some type of visual, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. of how, where did I start? Well, how did you right. get this interview? Like, how did you go there? Like, I want people to be able to, to know for a fact that if mm -hmm. I go to you, I'm def it's a great start. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I got to be able to brand that. That's yeah. you being branded. Like, that's why I'm here. Like, I need to, because there's things that I need to learn. Right. And I know that there's things that you need to teach. Like, this is the type of stuff that I love and enjoy. Like, I right. live for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is. <laughs> There's Media a, is where it's at. You know, so it's like, <laughs> hey. It's, it's where you can really just be free and just put it out. I mean, yeah. if, if you do got to have a little bit of tough skin, though, because if yes. you really care about what people think, it's really going to eat your ass up, It'll eat your lob. But it, uh, the moment you learn how to, it's not even about not caring. It's just avoiding, like, not even, I don't want to say avoiding. Um, we just nip that shit in the bud. Like, you throw it at us, we be like, oh, okay, that's what we on. <sighs> that shit gets hard And we sometimes. keep going. Right. And it does get hard sometimes. Um, I've got, I I can honestly say I've gotten pretty good at it. Um, but it's still hard sometimes. Yes, yes. But I force it out. Yes, I'll be like, you have to. I'll be like, you, you know what? All right. Right. Let me keep pushing. Right. You know what I mean? And I, and I, and right. I just force myself not to, I do, I can't even force myself. I do my best not to allow myself to dwell on it. Right. You feel me? Because that should eat your ass up, man. For real, for real. So, so can I ask you one question? Go ahead. This like, number two. Is this the second one? It I'm is. gonna let you have it though. Because I asked you. One <laughs> so number two, I feel like damn, I'm interviewing you too. Like I'm just over yeah, here taking ahead. over. My bad, scare me, dog. Go, no, like, no, go ahead. My bad, little old boy. Ask me the question. <laughs> you try to make me forget the question. I'm not. I'm waiting on the question. So, <laughs> Why did you sit on this side tonight when you're usually on this side? 
Um, so that I can see the camera screen right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> so you can't usually see it from here? Uh-uh. Not where I need to see. I need to see the time stamp. Just in case. Because at 29 and 59 seconds, it's going to shut off. And then I got to start a new one. So that's that's how they roll? That's how I'm this particular camera works. I'm just never really see. I've seen this before when I did uh, this motivational speaking class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's how this particular camera works. Not every camera does that though, but this one has a limit. But that one was, it was pictures, so it was still. Yeah, that's different. I didn't do the video. But yeah. But this one at 29, at 29 minutes and 59 seconds, it'll stop. And then I have to start it again. So at 30 minutes, pretty much. That's right there, you can see it. <coughs> I can see it, yeah. If you it stops. Have some good eyes to if see it that. stops, no, if it stops, I can see it. But I'm saying it. the numbers, you got, they're tiny. Yeah, no, that's not even the numbers down there. Why do you know it's at 29? It's over there. It's not to at 29. That's when it's going to stop. So I don't see the number. I'm being nosy because I need to know how this <laughs> works. Shit. Everybody in the able shit to just be. <laughs> My bad. I still didn't see no number over there. Shit, I be trying when to learn some stops, shit too. I'll be able to see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you now. That root beer been gone. <laughs> it's a little bit left in there. There's nothing in there. Yeah, it was a little bit. My mouth is dry. I'm smoking. Mine's I do too. drugs. No, I'm just playing. Oh, my goodness. We going to edit that out. <laughs> Mind y'all motherfucking business. He never really answered the question. He just said I had to see on this side better. But I'm so That was the answer. That's really the answer. So you couldn't see the camera? I, I believe you, but. Yeah, I can't see it when it stops when I'm over there. I so noticed that know? last time I was in the show. Oh, no. This yeah, is normally I have a screen at the top hooked up where my oh. girl's here engineer doing it for me oh okay so you low-key tonight doing it yourself yeah i mean i always do it by myself but she'll watch it you know what i mean oh gotcha so to make sure see you thought it was something bigger and it's plain and simple with me i see <laughs> yeah i really just needed to sit over here so i can see better oh he really just took me to the whole school <laughs> 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 and that's it for real for real but yo before we jump off man i want to say this you know and i know you see that I, I i say this to everybody and i want everybody to know um i'm proud of you you feel uh -huh. me i know you came from somewhere i know you came from a lot of darkness i can feel it yeah i can just feel oh, it it's real but a lot of us have came from a lot of darkness but right. there's those uh near and few that didn't and they were right. blessed to just live a fabulous fucking life congrats to y'all Nothing against y'all, but for the ones like us that has been through some shit and are still going, I'm proud of y'all. Right. I'm proud of y'all. And um, you better not ever quit because, uh, let me tell you this, if I find out you ever go to prison again, I'm finding Joe. I'm coming up there. Man, I'm gonna whoop your ass you gotta come belt. up over the smiley road, is you? You know, I don't put my hands Man. on females, so I am going to nah. bring a female with me. On, uh, I'm going to bring one, like a grandma. Oh, I got hands, fam. I'm going to bring a grandma, though. You Ooh. can't disrespect your elders. Nah, nah, and I'm going to be elders. like, uh... Get her. Didn't I tell you not Get to... Her. What did you do, sister girl? Come right. on. What up? Come on, sister. <laughs> right. No, right. but that's just to say, I don't I don't want to see you fail. Man, you know I love I mean? that. I need more people like that because yeah. it seems like if I say something bad, you know, nowadays on Facebook, like some drama and shit, yeah. man, that's where you get all the likes. Like, people want to see some bad shit They happen. do. They do. And, like, and that's on. another reason why I feel like... um. I don't catch as much traction yep. as I should. Yeah, but, but I don't care. Yeah, because the people that do see it, I'm sure are it the helps people them. that matters. That's it. But That's I know it. there's a yeah. lot of people that follow me that matters, right. and I want them to see yeah. how you know what I'm saying. Like when I find somebody that's like, damn, he really right. genuinely care. Like, yeah. I really started watching your videos like the other day. Like I never, re and you've been on my Facebook for so long, I never really checked them out. Right. Like so, really, I didn't know you either. Like I don't right. know. Like you know what I'm saying. I don't know. What <laughs> shit. Until one day right. he's like, book your interview. I was like, well, shit. I'm since I'm doing this. Yeah. Let me see what this is about. You know, because I usually turn them down. Like I right. always say no. Yeah, that's and, dope. But never quit. Cause you never know, like That's you said. That's why I'm here. Like you, I knew. You, you never know who you're inspiring, ever. Sometimes it be them silent ones that, you know that it matter the most. A change gonna come. It matter the most. You know huh? that song? A change gonna come. Uh, it's one of those. Yeah, the one I know is the, the remix version of. Yeah, when well, they singing at the mic, that video, and there's two of them. Singing. Is it black and white? Yeah, and they going yeah. back and forth. Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah, they going to come. The it dad did and come the today. That's the dad they, and the son. And they were singing on the one was on this side of the mic like this. Yeah. That's what just came up, yeah. that vision. Like, right. Yeah, so I'm not giving up. Like, I... Yeah, regardless of how many times you say it, 
I'm going to always tell you right now again, you know, you can try as best as you can to skip past this. <laughs> If you quit, I'm going to come find you. Damn. I don't care how many people you know. I don't care how bad you is. <laughs> if you quit, or have my hand as a friend, us. as somebody that's, that's right. inspired yes. by your story, I don't quit. I'm going to come find your ass, for real. I like that. And I'm going to put a book and some papers, notepads or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to bring the homie, you feel me? Or everybody else that supports you, and we're going to pull up. And I'm okay. going to be like, hey, uh, come out, wake up. Safir, get your ass up. I don't want no Let's smoke. go. Nah, uh, this is gonna be a, a life size pen out there, pencil. That, you know, and that's and my a big problem. ass notepad. That's my problem. <laughs> that is definitely my problem. Like I have so many people that support me. Right. It's like I, now I have a lot of people to disappoint. Mm -hmm. Now, do I want to disappoint all those people? Absolutely not. Right. So you saying that is another person that I can't disappoint. Love. Or I'm gonna disappoint yeah. myself. Like, and yeah. then yeah, I'm gonna go backwards, and yeah. I can't do that to Baby Lib or my oldest, but. Baby Leah needs me the most right now because yeah. she's a toddler. Yeah. So most importantly, you shoot though. Yeah. Most yeah, you're right. I have to be good to take. You got to be good to get right anything to anybody. I told you I was drinking them root beers up in there. <laughs> Shit, I was drinking them root beers. <laughs> hey, you out of styrofoam gotta cup. Be good. Yeah. Out you, of styrofoam cup, and it yeah. was good as fuck. And I would never drink root beer. Right. You definitely got to be but good. But I was drinking it when I was in the hospital last right. week. Right. Now you know the very last question that you got to answer. <laughs> you know. I mean, it's not even a question. Yeah, people gotta know what you gotta, I was in. No, no, you gotta give the people. I was in a psychiatric people, hospital. You I gotta give the people. people all that. Now you done told the people I was in a psychiatric <laughs> hospital. You gotta give. But the I people. was though. I needed that help. You like, listening? Yeah. You gotta I give the people one piece of advice. So if you had one piece of advice to get to anybody in the world, what would that be? To know yourself, know thyself, know, know who thyself. you are, know thyself, know thyself. Actually, let me give you a little tip. They okay. say Socrates, right? Socrates. Coined that phrase. Okay. Which he did not coin that phrase. He's seen it on a building in Egypt mm -hmm. where predominantly the darker American people lived. Mm -hmm. So he stole that phrase. The black people. The black people. That's <laughs> our shit. That's our shit. So it's know thyself. And I always told right. myself, like, when I was locked up, that was the thing that I said to myself the most in that cell on my knees, you know, crying, giving my life out to God, you know, I got to know myself. And that's what he always would like bounce back. Like it was a reflection mm -hmm. of what God was trying to explain to me. Like, I got to know who I am. I got to know myself inside and out. So I got to make sure my inside is pure. And then I will always find myself on the outside because it's going to reflect mm -hmm. and it's going to come towards me. It's going to, it's like bringing in good fortune. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes in your life. It's going to be attracted to you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So it's like a hologram. If I have to find something, boom, I'm going to go, oh, those are the lights. I know I got to get there. Right. And if I'm big, I can reach it real quick. If I'm small, right. I got to work my way there. Mm. So mm, I like you know that. that it's progress. Every right. step that you take is never an ending to getting better. Right. It's just always progress every day. There's not going to be that day where you're going to automatically quit and say, oh, I'll never have depression or I won't suffer from PTSD again. Mm -hmm. There's never going to be that day. It's just every day working to make sure that that That's one day it. matters. Forward progression. Yeah. So Forward never stop doing the work. Know uh -huh. thyself. I'm telling you. And I am a workaholic. Yeah. You a workaholic? Yes, I'm I am. I'm telling you, it helps. They say I don't sleep. Yeah, I don't. And we and we got to, though. Yeah, we, we do. got to. I've we been got resting to. lately. I All of y'all, that's my homies that don't sleep. Right. Y'all got to sleep, too. You know what it got is, to. man. Stop staying Yo, up. Safira <laughs> Allen, man. I know all my fans. Okay, I'm, your fans might want to be my fans. Yeah. My fans definitely going to want to be your fans, though. Oh, so that's if they needed to find you and this book, where can they find you at? They can reach me on Facebook at Safira Allen. S-A-F-I-R-A-A-L-L-E-N. Or you can, uh, yeah, find me on Facebook. I'm always there. You cannot not see me. Always, always. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't give a lot of my other sites out because I'm not ever there. You know, I got Instagram and all that, but gotcha. I'm just mostly on Facebook. And they can get this off of Amazon? When it's released. When it's released. Yes. When, do I got a release date? On the 26th of March. 26. Hey, that's this weekend. That's Friday? Yes. It's Friday. Friday. Okay, oh, so, so hopefully when you see this. It's going to be released. <laughs> yes. So, you know, hopefully, because it's not out yet, but it is on Amazon already. Gotcha. But I wasn't just, you know, supposed to share that uh, link. Mind your business. Stay out of mine. <laughs> but if you find it, that's just on you, because I found it and I got my book the next day. Yeah. But I got my author copies of everybody that ordered. I just got to autograph a few. Right. 
So I got to make sure I send them out at the appropriate. Because I don't want mm -hmm. some people to get there like, man, why didn't I get mine? You know, you got to. Right. So if they're getting an the autograph, it's going to take a little bit longer. Right. Because okay. I have to. I have, I'm having a launch party, actually, on 4-3 mm -hmm. at 2 p.m. Las Vegas time. And it's on my Facebook. So it's going to be a book launch party. Okay. It's going to be pretty neat because I'm giving away prizes. Okay. I'm going to have two drawings of $25 each. And then I'm going to have a... <laughs> Money. I'm tapping the hell yeah, in. Yeah, yes. I'm so, tapping in. I'm going to be on that boy like this. Yeah. So, and I'm also <laughs> raffling off a, a couple of my books because some were donated back to me because nice. they showed me love. Okay. So, those books will be also raffled off for someone that can't afford my book but want it. Mm -hmm. So, I would like for them to like type their name or something and we could put their name in at the end. I can... You know, for the people that need and want a book but can't right. afford it, they'll get a book. Right. So, and I'm gonna do two of those. So, Dope. two of those drawings. So, Dope. so make yeah. sure y'all be on the lookout. Tap in, follow, yes. and when it's time, then go get this book. Yes. Don't be minding me. I'll be fucking up. <laughs> but no, nah, hey man, make sure y'all tap in. Suddenly single. Um, surviving the demise of your relationship. An anthology with six other co-authors. So it's me and six other authors. And uh, be on the lookout, 10-31-22, I will be doing, no, then, yeah, 10-31-22, I will be having a pre-sales for my memoir that's coming out. Yeah. And you heard it here first, because mm. nobody knows. So 10-31-22, mm. I will there it is. release the pre-sales of that. And that's going to be detailed. It's going to be juicy. It's going to be bomb. It's going to be everything that yeah, I yeah. never said that I said. Uh-oh. Okay, it's so, gonna be juicy. Yes, make yes, sure you tune yes. in, tap in, and get and that. It's all me, all yeah. me, man. Sophia Allen, yes, you have officially no, not all the way officially <laughs> yet. He's so cool, he <laughs> not all the way officially still. yet, but you know, we almost there, man. Um, it's a you, pleasure how do you sitting feel? next to you. You, That's you've crazy, officially like... made it to the end of the Just Be show that you were so excited to come to man, for what you were saying. I was, how you, feeling? you see, I was here early, don't do me. How you feeling? I feel great. You still I'm, nervous? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. Like, I can truly say uh, God had his hand in all this work. So, That's dope. I mean, that I can't, uh, you know, I can't give myself, t I can't give myself credit, but I got to know where, I got to let people know where the ultimate, ultimate credit is right. given. You yeah. Know? That's a big fact, man. And before I jump off, I just want to say, um, it's people like her on why I do what I do besides the fact that doing this helps me more than it helps y'all at any given time. I really genuinely love what I do. Right. Um, it helps me through any trauma or drama in my fucking life, period. Um, and one more thing before I give that, uh, that last, my last little outro is just like I put on Facebook the other day, I guess y'all don't remember. Hey. Don't ever forget that positivity is my way of life. Point blank and period. And y'all already know how it go, man. I need y'all to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate, inspire one, to then inspire all. And last but not least, I need you to just be the best version of your goddamn self. Feel comfortable doing that shit and then show others yeah. how to do it. Right. And then we can all love each other, man. And um, peace will win one day, I pray. I love y'all, and I'm gone.